You know, one of the main challenges we have as cloud architect when it comes to building and managing cloud infrastructures is to make sure that these infrastructures are cost efficient and secure. That's why in today's video, we're going to work on AWS EKS cluster that you can see here. And we are going to build our own CI-CD workflow with InfraCost, Terraform, and TFSec to make sure that the security and cost requirements are being respected. So let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use these templates. So we go to templates here. We look for AWS Kubernetes cluster. It's this one. And here you simply need to clone the template into a new architecture. Once it's cloned, as you can see here, you will have the design and the Terraform code on your right side. So now we are going to invite all your team members to join your organization. Do so is very easy. Simply need to go to members and here specify their email address and their roles, either owner, admin, member or guest. Once we have done it, we can create different teams. Here on Brandboard, for example, we have created the team Cloud Architect, the team DevOps, the team Security Squad, and for example, the team DevOps and Architect. So here, simply need to choose the name of your team, who will be the admin, and who will be the members. Once you have done it, then you can create different projects. So here at Brandboard, we have created the project use cases, project brand, brand cloud architectures, and for example, cloud strategies. So here you have the name, the teams, and the environment that you would like to create. So here, choose the name, choose the team from admin to guest, and then choose the environment that you would like to create. Once you have done it, then here you go to the design and you go to the architecture selector. So here on Brandboard, you have project from Brandboard trainings to use cases. In each project, you have different environment. For example, here we have the environment dev, prod, QA, and staging. And in each environment, we have different architectures, infrastructures. So here in today's use case, we're going to work on the AWS Kubernetes cluster. So here, simply need to modify the name. Here we have the status of the architecture from work in progress to locked. We can include a description as well, the tags, and we have the information on when it was created, updated, and the UID. So now we do the update. So here, now we can check and we can scan, for example, these resources. Let's say that we would like to look at the IAM role policy. So here, everything that you do on the design will be automatically reflected on the code. So for example, here, you see that when I selected this resource, I have the Terraform code that is showing me here. I open the ID card and here I see how it has been configured. So here I have the required parameter, the extra attributes with the meta arguments of Terraform count depends on and for each. Here, for example, now, we would like to look at, let's say the AKS node group. Again, we have the Terraform code. We open the ID card and we can modify this configuration if we want. Here, as you can see, we also used variables. So here on Brandboard, if you want to use variables, simply need to go to input. And here you can define variables either at the organization level project, environment, architectures. You can also define, for example, locals. Here, for example, cluster name, we have chosen the name cluster name, the scope architecture, and here it was a string. You will have default brand board against demo. You can include a description and you can flag the value of this variable as sensitive if you want. Here, for example, we look at subnets. We have a list string, the default, and the description. So here we find all of Terraform files. So here we have the main.tf. We have the output. If we want to look at the output, we can find them here. 
Then after we have the providers. So here we find the providers. And if you want to customize your own provider block, simply need to go here, write your custom Terraform provider. And here you write it the way you want. Then I showed you again the Terraform, for example, variables here. You have all your variables. If you flag the value of this variable as sensitive, you will see this value in the Terraform GVARs. Here we have the locals, but as you could see, we didn't define any locals. And here we have the backend. So to define your backend on Brandboard, simply need to go to data. And here, for example, you can define either with AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, Terraform Cloud on Brandboard backend. For example, at Brandboard, we are using AWS S3. Now you need to set up your credentials. So here you go to cloud providers and you have your credentials here. And then you choose the name, the access key ID and the secret access key. Here you can also do the integration with GitHub, but also do the integration with Azure DevOps, Bitbucket and GitLab. It's very useful, especially for example, if you want to do a pull request. In this episode, we will not create a pull request, but if you have any question about it, I can show you how it works. So here, I showed you the Terraform code, all the Terraform files. You can also, for example, create your own Terraform files. So here, let's say you would like to create a new Terraform files with these resources. It's very easy. Simply need here to choose IAM and then it's save. So here it needs to be refreshed. And here you have the IAM here. So here you can also create all your Terraform files that you want. So now that we looked at the design and the Terraform code, what we're going to do is to go to the deployment tab. So here on Brandboard, what you can do is that you can either do one action, meaning Terraform commands, validate, plan, apply, or destroy, because you can also provision your infrastructure directly from Brandboard, or you can design your own CI/CD workflow. This is what we're going to do. So here, start by adding a task. So here we do Terraform validate. a name then here we do terraform plan choose a name as well but now we want to check the security cost so here security and then the cost so here you have security check here ignore failure here, for example, we will send an email, but you can also use, for example, Slack if you want. Here, notify security team. For example, here you can check. Here, please check the security requirement of this infra now for example you would like to do cost estimation here you need to add your ipi key here you can do a breakdown or a default to a breakdown and then send an email so notify cloud FinOps. Here, for example, you can you can check please. And here you customize the way you want your message. So here please check the cost of this infrastructure before
And then here, what we can do is that we can do Terraform apply, so we can provision directly from Greenboard. And here, require approval. And here, for example, I would like, let's say, for example, him, Shafiq, and then we close. Here, what we have done is that we have designed our own CI/CD. So here, Terraform validate, Terraform plan, security check, secu uh, notify security team, cost estimation, and then we save the workflow. So now what, that we have done it, we can run it. So here, as you can see, the task pending and the status of each task is here. So pending, then scheduled. So here we will have the output of each task. Success, the configuration is valid. Now Terraform plan. As you can see, it has been modified, it's running now. So here the plan 18 resource to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. Here it failed. It tells us, for example, why it failed. So here, if we look at it, we have the result one critical security group rule allows egress to multiple public internet addresses. So here we have the status of the issue critical. Then here we have the impact here. We have the resolution. We also have the documentation that we can use. So here we have insecure and we have secure. So now we can go back to the design and make it correct. So here, Masala will join brand board and actually do the modification here. Then we have the cost estimation. So as you can see, the overall total cost is 105. Here we have the name of the resources, the monthly quantity unit, and the monthly cost. Here, received an email. And now, Shafiq, for example, can come to brand board. And then, once TFSEC is valid, then we can provision the infrastructure directly from Brainboard. So here we have the status failed, the ID, where it failed, TFSEC, the initiator, and the date. Like that, you can look at what other team members are doing. Here, if you want, you can convert this CI CD workflow into a template. And once you have done it, here you will find all your templates. And for example, if you want to use one of the templates when a team member has created, for example, this one, then you simply need to use it. And here you have the task with, for example, OPA, Chikov, Terrascan. So I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you build your own use case on Brainboard. Have a great day.